Hey guys, it's Lauren and welcome back to my channel for the love of if you're joining me for the first time I want to say welcome and thanks for taking the time to click on this I guess summer haul <laughs> If you're a returning viewer or subscriber welcome back I'm trying to figure out what to call this video But I guess it would be Bath and Body Works summer haul is probably what the title will be So you guys it is Memorial weekend. I hope you guys you're probably watching this after Memorial weekend but I do hope you guys had an awesome Memorial weekend. This past week, I stopped at Bath & Body Works because as I'm burning down on my spring scents, I'm getting to the very bare bones here and dwindling down on my spring wallflowers, I know that I'm switching over to summer scents soon. Bath & Body Works had some promotions this past week and some really good promotions today. At least I know they weren't nationwide, which kind of stinks, but they were in my area, so I definitely took advantage of those. So. I was waiting till I got, you know, quite a bit of items to be able to do like a what I'm going to be burning this upcoming summer type haul. So let's just jump right into it, you guys. I don't want to have a crazy long video, but I want to show you all the products I got. So let me start with products I got earlier this week. I stocked up on some summer soaps. So let me show you what ones I got. I believe these were on a $3 promotion, if I'm not mistaken. So I plan to this summer switch to watermelon lemonade. I know watermelon lemonade comes out in the spring. To me, since it's like a fruity lemonade type scent, to me I kind of feel like it's a very summery type scent. I know they keep it through the summer. So I stocked up on two watermelon lemonade soaps. I got the foaming one with, I think it's avocado oil. Yeah, avocado oil. I don't know if I've tried the ones with avocado oil yet or not doesn't smell like avocados don't let that deter you and then also watermelon lemonade in the nourishing I like to switch it up once in a while so I snagged one of these like I said they were on three dollar promo and I think I may have had a 20% off coupon or something that came uh, in the emails or was on retail me not I also grabbed this one smells really really good this is lemon grapefruit if you guys have been watching me since last summer, last summer I was on a total citrus kick, like all lemon cello, sugared lemon zest. So while I'm doing watermelon lemonade, I still love my citrus type scents. So I know I'm gonna incorporate those. You guys, if you like grapefruit, this one smells really good. It smells like fresh grapefruit juice with like a hint of lemon. Really, really pretty scent. And I did test this one out just cause I wanted to see First of all, because it smelled really good. The scent lasts really long on your hands. So I'll be waiting till I use all my spring ones to uh, use the rest of those. And then I did get one other one. Oh, I grabbed one more. This one's called Oh Happy Day. And this one's Pink Grapefruit Pop. I actually had grabbed, there was like a strawberry lemonade one in this um, packaging and kind of like this, I guess, co collection, I guess you could say. And when I got home and smelt it again, the combo of like the strawberry and the lemonade just didn't smell right to me. Usually for soaps, I won't bother going through and exchanging them. This one, this the lid on this one doesn't want to come off. I did try this one as well in store and it smells really, really good. It's um, all grapefruit. So it's a pink grapefruit. It smells really, really nice and it's almost as strong as this one. So if you want a nice citrus grapefruit type soap, I would snag one of these. <clears throat> so that's what I got so far for soaps. I'm sure I'll need to snag some more at some point. But I did grab some wallflowers. These were on a 350 promotion and I do know that there was a 20% off coupon when I grabbed these. So let's see what I got. I grabbed, this is different for me. I grabbed Island Papaya. I'm going for like a really fruity type scent this summer. The notes for Island Papaya are tropical coconut, fresh papaya, and sugar cane. I'm not a huge coconut person. Um, I've used mahogany coconut in the past. That was really pretty. But I'm not a huge summer coconut person. But for some reason, this one was not 100% coconut. It had that sweet kind of fruity scent. So we'll see how this one performs in the wallflower. I grabbed a mango dragon fruit. I've always thought this one was pretty but I've never tried it in a wallflower before. So I'm excited to try that. And then I think I, one, I think I wound up grabbing a bunch of watermelon lemonades. I grabbed, yeah, I grabbed three watermelon lemonades. Tried and true classic watermelon lemonade. I don't know if I've ever used watermelon lemonade in a wallflower. 
I do know that my first summer type scent I ever used from Bath and Body Works was watermelon lemonade and it was in a scent portable. So I guess maybe for me that's why it always reminds me of summer is smelling that because it was obviously in the summer when I got it. So the notes for watermelon lemonade include watermelon ice, sparkling water, and Meyer lemon. And it does have that really pretty citrus note in it as well. So I grabbed three of those. And there's one other one. I forgot what this one was. Is it another? It's a, oh, another pineapple mango. I think, is that what I grabbed? Oh, Island Papaya Mango Dragon Food. Oh, this is a different one. See, I grabbed so many I didn't remember. Pineapple Mango. Again, I'm not a huge pineapple person either where it's straight pineapple, but there's something about the mango and kind of the fruit aspect to this that it smelled really nice. Now it does say vine ripened raspberry. I'm not a fan of the sun ripened raspberry from Bath and Body Works, so we'll see how this one goes if it has that super raspberry note to it, but we'll give it a try. And if you guys are interested, I can do reviews on these once I get them plugged in. I'll probably switch over in the next week or so here once I'm done with all of my spring scents. So that's it for the soaps and wallflowers. And then moving on to candles. And then I also had some body care as well. They did do that $2.95 promotion for body care. I'll do those last because they're not really summer related, but you know I had to grab some of those. So the candles that I grabbed, it's not crazy exciting, you guys. I'm just grabbing the ones that I think will go with my scent theme in the home, but I had to grab watermelon lemonade in the traditional white barn jar. I do like that they have, sorry, there's a glare. I do like that they have the white barn lids on here. I think it looks pretty. It's better than just like the plain ones. So these were on promotion for $12, I believe. I grabbed two. Um, they were $12 or $12.95 if I'm not mistaken. And I did have that 10 off 30 coupon. So it knocked these down to $8.72. So, not bad if you can catch the candles on that $12 promo with a 10 off 30 coupon that's usually a good time to stock up so two of these and I cannot wait to switch over to this scent I don't know if I've even burned watermelon lemonade in a full size in the past I know I've used the testers so I'm trying something new I know this is like a traditional scent but I don't know if I've ever burned this one before in the full size the other one I grabbed was pineapple mango and again while I'm not a huge pineapple fan the blend of pineapple to other fruits in this candle smells really really pretty yeah it's it's a perfect blend because I had smelt the um, there's another pineapple one that came out and it was just too pineapple-y for me so this is a really nice blend the notes of this again this has the pineapple juice mango and the raspberry I don't get much raspberry. I don't know if it'll come out when it's burning, um, but this one, I really hope this one throws. I think this one's a really pretty scent. And then I also grabbed, I had to, I had to grab this, Lemoncello. I love Lemoncello so, so much. It's such a pretty scent. Last year I had such trouble getting my Lemoncellos to throw. Remember when they had them in that like old traditional, I guess, lemoncello packaging. I tried so many different ones and they never threw, which is crazy because on cold, they're quite strong. So we'll see if maybe they improved it this year. I really, really hope they did. Let's see. The wicks don't have metal in them. I sometimes feel like the ones with the metal burn a little bit better. Maybe that's just me, but fingers crossed. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Lemoncello, the notes are Sorrento lemons, cane sugar, and lemon zest. It's just such a pretty scent. I probably should have grabbed some Lemoncello wallflowers. Once I tried these other ones, I feel like watermelon lemonade and Lemoncello together would just make such a pretty scent for summer. So we'll see how this one does. I will do reviews on all of these if you guys are interested. Now, on to the body care, and I, I'm kicking myself in the butt for not grabbing more, but I was kind of in a hurry, but they had that $2.95 promotion on all shower gels today, which is really, really good price point. Aromatherapy was included in that, and some of the newer lines as well. I don't think Coco Shea was, but 
you guys, I didn't even realize this. The candles, I had a 10 off 30, so I had two candles in a transaction, and then I threw a shower gel into the transaction to get me to 30, and I don't think you could stack the coupons. When I got the shower gels, I didn't have to present a coupon though, it came up automatically, so maybe they were allowed to do coupons with this. Nonetheless, they wound up giving me the 10 off 30 on top of that promo price, which is amazing, amazing. So thank you guys for doing that. They came to 202 for the aromatherapy ones and then like $1.98 for um, my other shower gel. So let me show you which ones I got. I was all out of my aromatherapy comfort, my tried and true comfort. This was the last one they had of this. Such a pretty scent. I'm waiting for the lotions to go on sale so I can grab some more. Um, this is just the vanilla patchouli. Beautiful, beautiful scent. If you guys haven't smelled this one and you like a really warm type fragrance, don't let the patchouli deter you. I have a video up of the aromatherapy and kind of my thoughts on it. So go watch that if you're interested. But I snagged one of these, a really nice scent. And then I'm so happy they finally came out with just straight lavender. I love the lavender cedar wood, but there's something about just fresh lavender. And yes, this one is a little bit lighter than the lavender cedar wood, but it's just such a nice, warm, cozy fragrance. I feel like if you drew a bath and put some of this in there, it would be just enough. Really pretty scent. So this has essential oils in it as well. And the one that I was the most excited about, probably because it's new, was this what is it water collection it's aqua burst body wash so i thought that was so cool and there's actually these little beads in there and they are vitamin e i believe yes encapsulated nourishing vitamin e beads so i haven't tried this yet i'm probably going to give this a try tonight i just thought it was nice that they're adding those added benefits in there i don't know if the beads like burst and are added moisture or not um if you guys are interested I can do a review on this one or maybe I'll save it for when I do an empties video but yeah this was like a dollar 98 or something crazy like that so that's really really good I was very happy about that in the scent of this one I believe it was a very light fresh scent just clean and fresh it's kind of weird to me it smells like a really, 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 really watered down version of Tahiti Island Dream. So if you guys remember what that scent smells like, a very, very, very light, faint Tahiti Island Dream, at least to me. Maybe when I'm using it, it'll smell a little different, but just very clean and fresh, and I'm excited to try this one. So you guys, that's it for me. A um, little bit of body care, a little bit of summer home fragrance. As the summer progresses, I will definitely be trying other candles. The stores I've been shopping at, at least out here in this area, do not have any of the new summer candles out, even though the store I shopped at today was a white barn. So I had really hoped that they would have some of that new like soda pop type collection in. There's a couple that look really interesting that I wanna try. They just didn't have them yet. So if they get them in, I may wind up snagging them if they're still on promotion or possibly exchanging out maybe one of my watermelon lemonades to give those a try. So you guys, that is it for me today. Again, I hope you guys had an awesome Memorial Day weekend. Comment down below what scents you guys are burning or are planning to burn for the summer. And if you guys stocked up on any of the shower gels down the promotion, the $1.95 promotion, comment down below which ones you got. Well, $2.95 promotion. Maybe they let you guys use the coupon. That'd be really nice. So you guys, that's it for me today. I hope you guys are having an awesome day, an awesome evening, an awesome weekend whatever time it is you're watching this video. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye guys.